I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to analyze the model for sinusoidal function. The height ht in meters of a basket on a water wheel at time t can be modeled by h of t equals to 3 times sine of 18 t plus 1 where t is in seconds. What is the diameter of the wheel? Where is the center of the wheel located in terms of water level? how long does it take for the wheel to complete one revolution. Now, uh, in this particular example, we will take different scenarios. What we are given is a sinusoidal function, which represents height of a basket on a water wheel, right? So, let us say that uh, we have water wheel, which is kind of, this is water level, and the wheel is going like, uh, kind of in a circular version, kind of, kind of like this, right? something like this, correct, in a circular way. So that height is represented by this particular model. Now the question is, what is the diameter of the wheel? So it's kind of a full circle and we need to find diameter of this particular wheel. So that is this diameter. Now as you can see from the equation itself, 3 actually is the amplitude and 3 really gives you the radius of the wheel. So, diameter of the wheel will be, uh, let us say, d equals to 2 times the radius 3, which will be 6. Since we are given the height in meters, it will be 6 meters. So, diameter is going to be 6 meters, which you can read directly from the equation. Okay. Part B is, where is the center of the wheel? Plus 1, the value, indicates the center or the axis of the wheel. So we'll say the center of the wheel is at 1 meters and this 1 meter is above the water level, right? So it is above the water level. So it is 1 meter above water level. Okay. And then the question is, how long does it take for the wheel to complete one particular revolution, one complete revolution? Now that gives you the time period. 18 t right so one complete revolution t can be calculated by dividing 360 degrees all this is in degrees by 18 right so if you divide 360 by 18 you will know when is one cycle how much time one cycle is taking so that brings us to 20 seconds so one cycle is taking 20 seconds and you can always find this by dividing 360 by this number 18 right so in the next example, we'll take few more parameters and understand the characteristics of the sinusoidal function. We'll take the same function and kind of work on it. I hope that will help you to give better understanding of sinusoidal functions. Thank you.